Hey, Ricky, happy Father's Day. Well, thank you. Look what my son gave me, this beautiful mug. Oh. Hey, my son Graham McDowell just won the US Open and gave me this. Quit bragging, Dad. We've got to give that thing back. All righty. My next guest surprised the golf world and the regular world yesterday when he became the first European in 40 years to win the U.S. Open. Take a look at the winning putt on the 18th hole. Here it is. Check it out. Just one little putt left here to grab the United States Open. Yeah! And Graham McDowell's greatest hat trick. From Northern Ireland, please welcome the 2010 U.S. Open golf champion, Graham McDowell! <laughs> Is this the first time it's been out of your hand? It's, I don't like it to get too far away from me, oh, you know? I gotta say. Now, how does this work? Do you get to keep this, or how does that work? Uh, I think they let me hang on to it for the next year or so. Next I mean, year as or long so. as I don't lose it or leave right, in some right, bar right. or something, you know? Okay, very nice. This, this would be a great gift for your dad to go as a... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hand down to Dakota, put it on the other end of the couch. Okay. It'll oh, be a goodness. guest. Oh, goodness, oh, goodness. Thanks, I saw Dakota. you say you wanted a beer at the end of this. You, you went looking for a beer. Did you find one? I find one. You got a few beers back there. You're looking after us very nicely. How back does the there. American beer compare to the Irish? Are you like you guys like the thick, dark? We like it. We don't like this light stuff. Yeah, What's that all about? Yeah, the is that light and alcohol, or yeah. what is that? Well, exactly. <laughs> you like 98 proof. That's what you got. That's the have. stuff. That's yeah. the stuff. Now let me ask you something. How did you get into this tournament? Because it was it was almost like fate the way this whole thing came together, wasn't it? Yeah, I uh, I was hanging on to the top 50 in the world. That's kind of uh, the exemptions you. To get into major championships, uh, the yeah. world rankings are quite important. And uh, about four weeks ago, there was kind of a there was a few, few permutations going on. Guys were playing over here in the states. Guys was playing back in, in Europe, and uh, it was I was kind of hanging on for grim death. And uh, I woke up the Monday morning. I was still 49th in the world, and that, it was only then that I realized I was actually going to be playing in the tournament. So it was kind of uh, it, it was it was a little dicey at one point, you know. My dad was dying to come over to Pebble. Right, He's right. like, I, I want to see this place, you know. I've heard so much about it, and. Uh, it was uh, it was it was nice to it was nice to get the note. We have some pictures. This is the traditional "Thank you, Jesus, for letting me win." Picture. That's it. That's, <laughs> it. <laughs> that's that's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, exactly, exactly. Then we have this one here. This is the my caddy is getting a little too uncomfortably close. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not quite sure what he was going for yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I see you're new to Hollywood, lad. Aye. <laughs> then you got this one here. Now you see. This one, you see, the sad thing is you're in America now. I understand the trophy now suing you for sexual harassment. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the standard pose. You, you gotta kiss it. Oh yeah, no cross. How, how great a moment was this, though? It's, it's the biggest moment of my life. I you mean, know, biggest moment of my golf career. It's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a cool day. It really and here's was. My, this is my favorite picture, because this couldn't have had, it's almost like the stars, everything lined up, like, like the perfect storm of things happening properly. You're winning it on Father's Day, with your dad. Look at that. That's pretty good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That was, uh, there he is. Yeah, there he is right there. There's dad. <laughs> now this, does, uh, does dad come to all your, all, all the matches? He, he likes to come to the major championships. You right. know, he, he, he only likes the big stuff. Oh, just you know? the big he, stuff, yeah. yeah. He doesn't yeah. mess around with all that other little stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah. But no, it was uh, it was just such a cool day, yeah. you know, a Father's Day to have him to have him over here yeah. with me. And uh, he said to me, "It was only one thing I want for Father's Day." I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to produce the goods, but uh, now it was a special moment, you know, oh, yeah. for him to come on the 18th green, and uh, it was kind of cool to have him. Now where now where was mom? Where is mom and all this? Mom's laying on the beach in Spain. Oh, mom's in Spain. <laughs> 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 She's having a rough old time. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did she watch? Did she watch it over there? It was, it was pretty late with a time delay. It was kind of 2, 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. I think she was up. She had champagne on ice. So, uh, yeah, I sp spoke to her last night. She was in pretty good form. Now, I said, Mom, enjoy your vacation. And it was, and it was a rough day for uh, Dustin Johnson. Is that his name, Dustin Johnson? Yeah, yeah. Dustin Johnson. Yeah, what happened? He, he was, it looks like he had this thing in the bag, didn't it? I played with him on Saturday. He yeah. just came out and played awesome. You know, he yeah. shot 66, I think, on Saturday on, on a really tough day, and he just didn't put a foot wrong. He's just kind of, he's one of these uh, grip it and rip it guys, hits it for miles, but like you. Um, 
and just came out yesterday, you know, you never want to see that happen to, to a colleague, a fellow player. I mean, obviously, I'm trying to beat the guy. Right. But I really, you know, I felt for him, you know. We've all been there. We've all experienced those rough days where, where just things, just everything you try to do just goes wrong. And I kind of felt for him, you know, but he, uh, he was a real gentleman around, about it. He was a top sportsman, and, uh, you know, he, was, uh, he, he handled it really well. And how does that affect you when you see the guy in front of you just kind of, just everything sort of falls apart for him? Does it make you more nervous? Do you say to yourself, oh, I think I got a chance? I mean... You know what I'm saying. Like I say, I'm trying to beat the guy. Right. But, but I, don't, I don't want to beat him like that, you know what right. I mean? And uh, I was just trying hard to focus on my own game. Okay. I mean, Pebble, Pebble had some teeth. Uh, the golf course was really difficult, so it was a tough enough task to go out there and concentrate on my own game and, uh, you know, stay in my own rhythm. And I certainly wasn't trying to pay too much attention to what he was up to. But, uh, you know, you, I couldn't help but feel for the guy. So you got Tiger Woods, you got Phil, you got Ernie on your tail. What, what kind of pressure is it? I mean... Is, do you feel a tremendous amount of pressure? Or you just sort of relax. Those beers kind of help you get through it. <laughs> exactly. Purely medicinal, obviously. <laughs> um, you know, Tiger's in the group in front, so you're, you're trying not to get sucked in by what he's doing. I yeah. mean, he, I mean he's, a, he's, a, he's a pretty cool dude in the golf course. I mean, uh, he's uh, pretty much the best player to ever touch a golf club, and, uh, you know, you can't get sucked in by what, by, by what he's doing. I mean, obviously, Phil Mickelson, Ernie Els, pretty, a pretty yeah. high-class leaderboard there, and... Uh, it was awesome to go out and, like I said, I had to focus on my game. Right. You know, it's, it's, not like, it's not like football. You can't go tackle the guys, you know. You've got to, yeah. You can't really worry about what they're doing. You know, you no know? one's ever done that. I tell you what, <laughs> it's an interesting thought. A few um, more beers, it might get the courage <laughs> to do it. Yeah. yeah so, so when did you start golfing? Is this something, a little kid, five and six, a teenager? When did you first get into yeah, it? Yeah, I was about seven or eight years old. Okay. I, I kind of grew up on a, a, a great part of the world, great golfing territory up mm -hmm. on the north coast of Ireland. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Monterey Peninsula, beautiful coastline yeah. on the ocean, Lynx Golf, and uh, it was just kind of love at first sight, loved the game, loved the challenge of it, and uh, it's kind of all, it's really all, all I wanted to do all my life was to be a professional golfer, and uh, you know, dream of days like yesterday, I mean, having two putts from 25 feet to, to win a major championship. Yeah. I've, I've been dreaming of that for a long time, and it was awesome. Just and that. Course, oh, it's wonderful, and I imagine, The folks in Northern Ireland, you know, you know, they, you know, I'm from Boston, so we have, we have almost more Irish people than you do. And, <laughs> and they say it's the first time a European. He's not a European, he's an Irishman. He's from Northern Ireland. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Well, it is, it is just really exciting, and I'm, I'm glad you could uh, come down and share it with us. I know it was a last minute thing, and you changed plans quickly to get here. So thanks you and your dad for bringing the trophy down. Thank you, man. Great Thank, Thank you. Congratulations on everything. Be right back with Crystal Bowersox right after this. If you want to attend a live taping of Tonight Show with Jay Leno, all you have to do is go to our website and sign up for your free tickets. Hey, and while you're there, check out my blog, Backstage with Brian, for all the behind-the-scenes action. See you there.